Hi everybody, this is Vincent Ng of MCNG Marketing. Thank you so much for joining me. And today I want to talk a little bit about UTM tracking codes. Pinterest announced that they are now allowing UTM tracking codes to come back uh, to pins. And that probably will cause a little bit of confusion if you're not a marketer. So a UTM tracking code really is a fancy schmancy way of saying that, you know what, I want to know where my traffic is coming from and I want to keep tr you know I want to find out very granular detail like I want to know if it's coming from an email list or I want to find out if it's coming from Twitter or I want to kind of find out from Pinterest and UTM tracking codes actually allow that and there are specifically for Google so if you don't have a Google Analytics account I really highly suggest that you go and get a Google Analytics account that's the very first thing you should do once you have a Google Analytics account, it really allows you to find out where things are coming from. And so, for example, I have a product that I'm selling right now, my book, Pinterest to Profits with Pentalysis. And I want to find out uh, exactly where, you know, the traffic is coming from and which campaigns are very successful. So right here, I'm going to go to my website, which I already have done, and I'm going to take this right over here. So I'm going to strip away from the hashtag, take the main site. Now, if you go to Google and you Google the words URL campaign builder, the website that you're looking for is this one right here with the analytics help. And it will allow you to keep track of campaigns. So I'm going to go click on it. And it'll explain a little bit about adding a custom campaign with your parameters to your URLs. So right now, for example, I'm going to enter the URL of my website. And so step two is that you need to fill in the fields below. So campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name should always be used. So in this case, campaign source for me personally, so it's not going to be Google or city search. It's just going to be Pinterest. And so basically campaign medium is sometimes it can be a, a click per banner, you know, cost per click or a banner or an email. Uh, in this case, the campaign medium for me is it's not like a paid campaign medium so I'm just gonna say it's gonna be my book and so you can actually add other things like a campaign term or campaign content if you you know use to differentiate ads uh, again if you're trying to identify key paid words which you're not doing with Pinterest but this one might be interesting in terms of trying to find out exactly what specific pin so this is going to be the campaign name and this one is going to be uh, book launch. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit. And what happens is now I have this really long URL, but I'm going to copy this. And what this will allow me to do is that it allows me actually to do multiple things. So for example, if I need to know a campaign, so my campaign might be just about pins about the book. So I want to make sure that I'm using the same campaign name. That's really important. So is this just for a product launch? Is this for something else? But keep the campaign name, you know, the same, uh, keep the book medium the same, uh, keep Pinterest the same. So what will happen is that you're able to kind of find out which pins are driving traffic to your site. So now what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to go to my Pinterest account and let's say I'm going to pin this image now. And I'm going to pin this. Okay, so I'm going to pin and let's say over here, I'm just going to use a secret board as an example because that's just really important. So I'm just going to put it into uh, just for the sake of it, popular pins on Pinterest, which is kind of a testing board for me. And I'm going to pin it. And so what will happen is I'm going to go see it now. Okay, and this is really important because now what happens is that this is actually being found on my own website. So I need to go change that. So using the desktop version of Pinterest, I'm going to click on that and actually change the source. So I'm going to go paste and go save changes. And now what happens is that here's the here's the tricky part is because the fact that I've used a UTM tracking code, it's a little bit hard because the rich pins has disappeared if you've noticed. So it's not exactly foolproof. 
But what happens is that when you do click on it, you'll notice that the source And this might take a little while to load. Uh, seems like okay. Seems like a little bit of a slow day for my website, which I need to check into. Okay, so what happens is after all that waiting, I really need to check the speed on that site. Um, you can see right over here on the very top, it says UTM source, Pinterest. And so now all that tracking information is there. And so when I check out my Google Analytics, it will tell me exactly the you know the medium the campaign and the source of all these pins. And so if you're really having a, an advertising campaign, you know, and you just really want to check how successful your campaign is in terms of driving, you know, traffic back to your site and which pins are working specifically within that campaign because this is the powerful thing because you can get unique URLs from Pinterest, but the hardest part is trying to find out which ones are related to your campaign because, you know, it's like, "Oh, okay, like I I I've gotten tons of pins and they're from other people." but they're not necessarily from your campaign. So you may want to find out which ones you're directly affecting. So that's how you actually add a UTM tracking code to your pin uh, that allows you to do campaigns. Uh, you know, again, if you want to know a little bit more about actually how to use Google Analytics in that way and, and how to track down, you know, which pins, you know, feel free to, to ask me. I'll probably be starting a course on that. Uh, but do sign up for my email at www.mcngmarketing.com and I'll be able to uh, let you know as soon as possible when I have a course up and running that regards in regards to Google Analytics and Pinterest. So thank you so much. I hope this is very helpful.